Raihkan kemeriahan Hari Raya dengan udara segar daripada penulen udara Kowei. Beli sekarang dan jimat sebanyak RM800. Very good evening. Welcome to Bizworld, the first story of the day. Asia Pacific's economic momentum should turn positive in the second half of the year as domestic lockdowns are eased and external demand gradually improves. According to International Crediting Rating Agency, Fitch Ratings, this would limit the drop in the regional economic output to 1.7% this year. The agency said in countries in which general government debt-to-GDP ratios were already above the respective peer medians, a further jump in the ratios in 2020 can be expected. These countries include Australia, India, Japan and Malaysia. The outperformance will be led by China, which the agency expects to post quarterly growth in second quarter of the year and a full-year expansion of 0.7%. Despite this, Fitch Ratings said a number of Asia-Pacific sovereigns would continue to face negative rating pressures amid the shock from the coronavirus pandemic. This particularly from declining public finances and in some cases external financing risks. With domestic tourism kicking off today, the Malaysian hotel sector is optimistic that the industry will start turning around despite being severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. A survey by the Malaysian Association of Hotels, MAH, revealed that hoteliers expect demand to pick up from July onwards due to the people's need to travel. In a note today, its Chief Executive Officer Yap Lip Seng said domestic guests traditionally command 55% market share of hotel bookings in Malaysia. Pera. Pahang, Terengganu and Kelantan are highly dependent on the domestic market and this could also indicate an earlier recovery for these states since interstate travel is allowed. Langkawi and Sabah, on the other hand, are highly dependent on international tourists and would both be the last to recover. Despite forecasting better demand from the second half onwards, Yap also said some hotels will be reducing their headcount in light of the economic uncertainty. Therefore, more people will lose their jobs even if the hotels are not closed. Tanaga National Burhat's TNB net profit declined to 717.9 million ringgit for the first quarter from 1.56 billion in the same period last year. Revenue also fell to 11.65 billion ringgit from 13.24 billion ringgit previously. In a statement, TNB said the lower revenue was attributed to the imbalanced cost passed through ICPT of a rebate position of 307.5 million ringgit, compared with a surcharge of 1.37 billion ringgit in the last corresponding period. The lower net profit was mainly due to foreign currency loss, resulted from the weakening of the ringgit against the US dollar and the Japanese yen. Moving forward, TNB foresees prolonged challenges on the group's prospect for the year, given the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and the uncertainties in the global economic environment. Perodua will reduce its model prices by between 3% and 6% via cash rebates until June 14, 2020. The company will also incorporate the new prices throughout the tax reduction period, as recently announced by the government. Despite the tax reduction becoming effective next Monday, Perodua President and CEO Dato Zainal Abidin Ahmad said the company will offer cash rebates of between 3% and 6% starting today. He added that Perodua is in full support of the government's move to fully exempt sales tax for the purchase of completely knocked down CKD cars until the end of the year to show up the domestic economy. This latest initiative is a confidence boost for the automotive industry, not just for car buyers, but the entire ecosystem of manufacturers, suppliers and dealers. Produa sold 52,920 vehicles as of the first five months of 2020, giving it a 41% market share against an estimated year-to-date total industry volume of 129,401 units. That's all the time we have for Biz World. I'm Arif Subhan. Thank you for investing your time with us and keep tuning in to TV Tiga.